It's part three. You're more than welcome to donate if you feel so led or if you desire. Also, if you're part of a club or organization like Bikers Club, I know a lot of people are part of Bikers Club, um, Truckers Club, um, um, any unions, you know, sorority clubs, um, anything like that. Um, and, and you want to share my GoFundMe page, you are more than welcome to do that at, at present. Um, what I'm doing, my GoFundMe page, I think is at a hundred thousand for my goal, because when I add up everything, that's what I need. Um, that will include paying up my rent and then paying up for the rest of my lease duration. So when my lease is over, I'll be I'll still have enough to be able to move or to downsize in price range. Okay. So um, um what else? Um and I have a lot of things that um that I have to pay off. Once I went through all of my savings, then I start living off my credit cards. So all my credit cards are maxed out, you know, so I got to pay off all of those. Um, it's easy for people to sit back and assume certain things about people when you don't really know that person. And what's unfortunate about us as a people is that um, we have to divulge so much information in order to get help where people who don't even work, I've been working since I was 15 years old, you know, and the first thing the judge told me when I applied for disability was that I look like there's nothing wrong with me. And then he said, and according to your file, you're too educated. Um, he said, you have too much education. And so in his decision, if I can ever find the paperwork. In his decision, he wrote, there stands before me a young black female dressed um, in business attire, fully educated. Um, and it is in my opinion that she is too educated. This is what he said, a judge, a white judge. And I just, I, I, I couldn't believe it like, I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. So when people say, oh, you know, this or that, you have to know what you're talking about. And if you don't know what you're talking about, you got two choices. You can either stop talking or you can have enough sense to ask the right questions if you care to know the answers. Um. So those are two things I want to talk to you guys about. Um, I was going to try to do it all tonight, but I, I, my head is pounding. My sinus is just oof, everywhere. But I wanted to at least give you guys a heads up of what I'm going to be really getting into um, when, I, when I am feeling, you know, feeling a little better. So, but I wanted you guys to be able to hear me, see me, and hear from me, especially those that pray for me and reach out to me um, and send well wishes to me and check on me. I really appreciate you guys. Um, people just don't understand. There's so much I want to do, but having radiation to your brain, let me tell you something. I can plan to do a million things, but if that fatigue hit me, honey, <laughs> just call me on the phone, FaceTime me or whatever. That's just, that's the best I can do at this point, you know? So, and you just have to love me through it all. So, and know not to take it personally, you know? So, um, um, so yeah. And, um, I can't wait to get back in my studio, you know, on my studio. I have an in-home studio, for those of you that don't know. It's in the front of my house. Um, so, 
Um, I'm going to probably, if I can figure out how to put my GoFundMe link on my videos, I'll try to do that. I don't know how to edit videos just yet. I'm still learning a lot of stuff. Um, but if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go do that. You go to YouTube and you type in Live Talk with Benita Bradley. Again, Live Talk with Benita Bradley on all social media um, platforms. On TikTok, Live Talk with Benita Bradley. Um, any variation of Live Talk with Benita with Benita, live with Benita, um, on Instagram, Facebook, um, TikTok, um, on X, on, um, Snapchat, you know, just look for Live Talk with Benita Bradley or any, any, um, any form of that name, okay? And you'll see me. And don't forget, when you go to GoFundMe, I don't know if it's .com or .org. Just type in my name in your search bar, and my whole my my profile page will come up, and you can read my story. Okay, I'm trying not to show y'all my thumb because I I smashed my thumb, and my whole nail came off. So I haven't gotten my nails done. It doesn't hurt or anything. Just kind of pulled the whole nail off, but it's been growing back. I don't know if you guys can see it. When I first did it, it hurt. But now it doesn't hurt at all. So now I can get a, a get a um what you call it? A tip put on it. So um so but anyway, uh, I'm gonna get off and lie down for a little while. And um I hope you guys um are being kind to each other. I hope that um you'll tune in when I do go into into details about the things I want to talk to you guys about. And no, I'm not ashamed of anything. I'm not ashamed of financially where I am because like I said, it just got this bad five months ago. The, what I showed you, that's five months of rent plus late fees and charges and all of that. And uh, court costs for filing disposition and all of that. So all of that is included in there. Okay. So that's, yeah, that's like five, about five months. So, um, and like I said, it's for people who say, oh, she's lying. She's just trying to get money from people. Ain't no way you that far behind on your rent and they let you stay there. Well, I just showed you, I just showed you, you know, um, so, um, I hope that you all know that I share my story um, with you transparently because I believe this is what I'm supposed to be doing, sharing my story, bringing education um, to, to what it looks like when you have someone, um, African-American, um, living with two different types of brain tumors. Everybody that I know um, personally and people that I've talked to, um, the ones I know personally are dead. And I have people reaching out to me all the time say, hey, I lost a loved one, you know, that was battling, you know, um, brain tumors and things of that nature. Even if your tumor is benign, you're not out of the woods, trust me. You're not out of the woods, okay? Because anything that's foreign in the brain can be fatal, all right? Um, I'm going to talk to you also about my brain tumor and the permanent brain damage that now I live with because of how many strokes I've had before they were able to get to the brain tumor and get it out as much as they could, okay? And then I'm going to talk to you about how it grew back. I had another surgery after that, in order for it not to grow back again, I had to go undergo radiation directly to the brain. So, I want to talk to you more in depth about those things. But right now, I'm going to get off of here and get some rest, okay? Um, again, my GoFundMe is under my name, Benita Bradley. All right? And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.